Yo, 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 Hendo here with Average Youth Slow Pitch. Today we're bringing you something just a little bit different. We know you've already seen the Not Alive Midload, the Red Bat, and the Vanilla Gorilla drops. However, as you probably saw if you watched the video for either the Vanilla Gorilla or the Midload, we got these with swings already on them. So a big question that we've received from a lot of people is, what did they actually start at and how long do they take to get broken in? For us, we estimated about 100 swings on the Vanilla Gorilla in that last video at the start, and then about 125 on the Midload. Again, those are just estimations. So today, we're gonna go ahead, all three continuous fiber 2025 models from DeMarini, new and wrapper from the start. We're gonna get you compression test. We're gonna get 75 swings with each one, followed by 25 velo swings to bring our total to 100 swings on each, and then get you a final compression so you can see exactly how fast this new continuous fiber is breaking in, and then kind of make a decision which one you want. We'll talk a little bit at the end about what we found was beneficial or we didn't like about each one as well, as far as obviously the Red Bat half ounce end load, the VG is going to be at one ounce end load. And then we've got a mid load here on the 13 and a half inch, not a lie. And again, 13 inch on the red bat, 12 inch on the vanilla gorilla. So let's go ahead, get those swings, get you that kind of velo test, final compression. And then we'll come back here with our final thoughts. All right, let's see what we get from our three continuous fiber D Marinis real quick. All three, 26 ounces, not that matters. Brand new and wrapper. First up the red bat, not a lie end load. Dial that up to zero, let it sit. And pretty much as expected with DeMarini, we're sitting just over 300, but like we're talking about here this year, much quicker break in. And that's what we're out here to show you is how quick these bats will break in, see where we can get. We're gonna put a hundred swings again on each bat and show you where that final compression is after that. Not too far to zero. And just under 300 with the not alive mid load. And lastly, Jason Magnum's Vanilla Gorilla. And for those that might not have listened in the intro or aren't aware, Vanilla Gorilla, one ounce end load, 12 inch barrel. The mid load's obviously mid loaded, 13 and a half inch barrel, and the red bat's a 13 inch barrel, half ounce end load. And 300, so we got just over three, 300, and just under three. So let's go ahead and get some swings on them, see where that puts us, we'll do velo test for you and come back. Fourth swing. Yeah, a little over 300. And the sweet spot's outstanding. I mean, again, that's the whole point of these bats this year, breaking in a little bit faster. So we're gonna get the 75 to 100 swings on each of these continuous fibers and see where they're at. But this feels so much better right now out of the wrapper than last year's model. So. We'll keep swinging and see that sweet spot starting real good. That was the first one missed a little low. And you can definitely feel it on the hands with it being stiff and the barrel not being opened up, but it still came off great. So it is pretty forgiving for being a 300, 310, 305, whatever it was, starting compression. Again, you're gonna feel it on your hands, but at least you get the feedback. Yeah, even at 310, you don't even feel it when it's off the sweet spot. It's just nice and smooth, jumps off. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even broken in yet. And we got line drives going over our 330 fence, 340 fence, whatever it is. Same pop out of the wrapper for a bat of 305. You can definitely feel the barrel needs to open up, which is expected. We're getting a little bit of webs. Sweet spot areas, kind of anywhere below the load, the L on load, kind of honestly above the d area. So not a huge spot to start. The ball flies off of that right now. We're about 25 swings in. We're gonna let the other two guys get some swings on it. Then we'll come back below, right around that 75 swing mark. And like we said, we'll be at about 100 swings by the time we're done. That was 
nice and easy 360. That might be the farthest ball I've seen you hit out of your way. We got our 75 swings with the red bat. We're gonna move on over here to the mid load. Again, this is a 26 ounce. The one we used on the original demo, that was a 27. So not really much difference here. Biggest thing I notice is you can definitely tell going from the end load on the red bat to the mid load that that, obviously that end load's gone. It does have a little bit more of a balance feel, but you can still tell like we talked about in the initial mid load that you can, that you have that mid load versus a balance. So just something to keep in mind. We'll get our 75 swings here with the mid load and then move on to the VG and then we'll come back and be low them all for you guys. I mean, second swing out of the wrapper, we're short hopping the 340 fence, three, just past 340, I mean, 340 is the line. So you definitely, I mean, Last year's D Marinis, you could do that occasionally with the sweet spot, sweet spot, but you needed 100 swings to start feeling good, 200 to 300 to really break them in. So that's definitely a game changer. The big question is gonna be, do these, when they break in, get as hot as like the purple vanilla gorilla? That was off the end, a little bit off the end. Yeah, off the end, off the 340 fence. And you can feel it, you can feel like when you catch the higher up spot doesn't hurt the hands by any means, even being a stiffer handle, but sound change and everything. That's pretty solid forgiveness. Yeah, it's coming off great. I will say though, having swung them back to back, I know they all have the alloy handles, but this one doesn't feel as stiff as the red bat. I've, I've missed a couple low, a couple high, you don't get that same yeah. feedback sting that you got with the red bat, but. Might have to start singing Dim or something. Oh, bad piece. You just took a pitch off your ankles off the fence. Stop. Damn, that felt good. Oh, smoke. Base hit right there. Here you go. Squash. Haven't hit a bomb in DP. Woo! See, that was, that was beautiful. Miss. You may catch that sweet spot, it just flows off. You don't even feel it. Yeah, that felt so good. Even I missed it right then, it still felt good. I mean, All right, last but certainly not least of the three continuous fibers, Jason Magnum's Vanilla Gorilla. Again, no swings on it so far. We'll get 75, come back, and we're gonna be able to test all three of them, see where they're at. This one started right at 300. So if it's anything like the first two, expecting pretty much hot out of the wrapper. Again, this is the full ounce end load. From going from the half ounce on the red bat 
to the mid load, you could tell that you lost that end load. And then when you come back to this one, you can tell it's got a heavier end load than the, the Red Bat. This is a 26, just like the rest. Red Bat's 26 and a half, but 26 on the sticker. Yeah, I thought... How are you going to get a bat out of the wrapper like that? Yeah, where are you going to find a 300 compression bat that the first swing is just left of our scoreboard, which is, or second swing, sorry, is just left of our scoreboard at 380 on a line. 370. I think 390 is dead center, somewhere around 370, but you're just not going to beat that. This new D 2025 Demarini line is going to be a game changer for all the people who didn't want to swing Demarini for breaking them in. And assuming they all last, which again, I have the ones from Challenge Cup with two, 300 swings and they're fine. These will be the bat of the year. Yeah, same thing as the rest of them. It's great. Nothing else really to say about it. We're going to let these guys take their swings, 75 swings. We'll velo them all for you. What was the thumper said earlier? I've never had a home run here. <laughs> he said like five, he said five with the BG, a handful with the, the mid low. What is it? Dude, that one felt great. Sounded money. 110 miles per hour. 111 miles per hour. 105 miles per hour. 102 miles per hour. 103 miles per hour. 87 miles per hour. 101 miles per hour. 83 miles per hour. 83 miles per hour. 92 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. 103 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. 106 miles per hour. 110 miles per hour. 104 miles per hour. 98 miles per hour. 97 miles per hour. I think you're 91 miles per hour. 80 miles per hour. 92 miles per hour. 81 miles per hour. 106 miles per hour. 107 miles per hour. 107 miles per hour. 
107 miles per hour. 105 miles per hour. 111 miles per hour. 108 miles per hour. 99 miles per hour. 82 miles per hour. 87 miles per hour. 86 miles per hour. 86 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. 85 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. All right, and we're VLO complete, field swing complete here with all three. Again, not alive, end load, 0.5. We got the Jason Magnum, Vanilla Gorilla, one ounce end load. And then we got our mid load. Also, I'm just gonna call it the highlighter because that's what I think it looks like. So real quick, I know you always hear from me on which bats I like best. Since I got a chance to have two other guys out here, we've got both of them. They play a mix of D and C. So as we've mentioned, just kind of getting normal guys out to swing these bats. Just let you kind of see their opinions there. So I'll ask Thumper over here first. Of these three, which one do you feel like was the most forgiving? If you missed it, you kind of got good performance, felt good, didn't hurt your hands, all that kind of stuff. Definitely gonna have to say highlighter. All, all right. So we got the highlighter for Thumper over here. Which one was your, do you feel like you swung the best? You got the best consistency, I don't know, best power, all that kind of stuff. Like which one, if you had to pick one of these three to game right now, are you taking out the game? Vanilla Gorilla. All right. So we got a VG there for giving for the mid load. And then the final question is again, these are all 26s. So we got 26, 26, Red Bats 26.5, just the way they come. Of the three of them, did any of them feel light, heavy for a 26? Definitely this uh, red felt heavy. Okay, and so for Thumper, he swings a 27. Dudley right now is what he's been gaming. Uh, so the Doom, if you haven't swung those before. So it makes, for him, he did think this one felt a little bit heavier than the 27 Dudley. So just something to keep in mind. Um, again, for me, I normally swing a 26 to 27, so I was fine swinging all of them, but I kind of agree. The Red Bat, which makes sense, it is a half ounce heavier on the sticker weight, did feel a little bit heavier. But if you're somebody who normally swings 26, I'd say go with any three of these, unless you really like that lighter feel, then go with the 25.5 here with the red bat. And then, real quick over here for Alec, same thing to you. Of the three, did you have one that you felt like was most forgiving you could miss, or any of them even, one that for sure wasn't forgiving? Uh, the highlighter was the most forgiving, for sure. Sweet, so we've got two votes now for the highlighter for the most forgiving. Which one do you feel like you swung the best? Gave you the best pop, most consistency, all that kind of fun stuff? Definitely the red bat. Okay, red bat, which now we've got most consistency from Thumper on the Vanilla Gorilla. Most consistency here. And then the only one that's gotten two votes, we got the mid-load. And then all of them, same kind of question. Did anyone feel heavy to you, light? Or could you just kind of like, yep, they're all 26s? Uh, they're kind of all 26s. I mean, slight difference on this, but not, nothing crazy. Okay, cool. So it makes sense based on what we're seeing, sticker weight there. And then just real quick for me as well, I thought all three felt great. I mean, as you kind of all mentioned here, we're just trying to kind of break out the slight difference to help you make a decision. For me, I do feel like I hit the VG the best. I normally swing a 12 ounce, uh, or sorry, a 12 inch bat. The Brady has been my kind of go-to here for a while. 12 inch, one ounce end load, which lines up right with the Jason Magnum. So that makes sense for me. If I was gonna move off of that one, it would be a real, real close choice here between the mid load and the red bat. I personally thought the mid load felt a little light for a 26. It's, I know it's mid loaded, kind of that balance type feel. So it makes sense with these other two being end loaded. But again, a little light for me there. Again, the Red Bat felt stickered to me, makes sense, but I think it felt about the same weight as the VG. Again, just my opinion. So again, thanks to these guys for coming out, helping kind of put together a video for you so you can make the right decision on what you want as far as these continuous fibers go. Stand by, we'll get you kind of the final compression test and I'll just give you kind of a quick rundown of final thoughts. All right, we've now got 100 swings, plus or minus literally five or six. We, we've kept a pretty good count on all the continuous fibers here. So we're gonna go ahead and see where they're sitting. Up first, we got the Red Bat. Again, not that it really matters. This is the 26 and a half that we swung. All Pro M's, Classic M's. Start out at 60 degrees. We just checked. We're down to 50. So that's what the temps we were swinging in. And we've still got the Red Bat sitting 260, plus or minus maybe 255. So still plenty of wiggle room. But what that tells us is the Red Bat is absolutely how it felt game ready now. And 100 swings in, you're going to get it to a compression you wanted at to be able to game it as well. So... And then you can keep swinging it, keep track of that compression. 
We'll try to update you guys later on when we get that compression down to closer to 240 and let you know how many swings that took. But for me, that's going to go into the bag and just be a gamer now going forward. As far as the mid-load goes, obviously same conditions, all that kind of fun stuff. This is a 26 ounce as well. And the mid-load sitting dead on 250. So 100 swings in, the mid-load is absolutely game ready. You're not going to put any more swings on it. Again, we went 0 to 100 with these bats, right? Straight out of the wrapper, hitting pretty much as hard, trying to hit as hard as we can placing the ball, eggs of eel, all that kind of stuff. So just something to keep in mind. If you kind of obviously don't necessarily do that, swing at 52s, it will take a little bit longer to break it in and whatnot. But about 100 swings gave us 250 there. And then lastly, the Vanilla Gorilla. Make sure we're on zero there. There we go. And the Vanilla Gorilla is barely a tick under 275. So the highest of all three of them, which is honestly pretty surprising with how it performs. So I'll talk about all these a little bit more in the final thoughts, but there's your compressions. Again, 100 swings is all it takes, as you can see with these new continuous fibers to be absolutely game ready. All three I'd highly recommend at this point of going straight into a bag and swinging. For me, I'll personally swing the vanilla grill a little bit more just to bring the compression down, but I don't see how it can get much hotter at this point. All right, and we're complete here with all three of the 2025 D Marini continuous fiber models. Again, just for quick reference, we had the Nautili end load, also known as the Red Bat, 13 inch barrel, 0.5 end load. We've got the Nautili mid load, again, mid loaded, 13.5 inch barrel. And then the Vanilla Gorilla Jason Magnum signature bat, 12 inch, one ounce end load. All of them have the ZN alloy handles. And honestly, all of them are complete gas. Again, the whole purpose of this was so you could kind of see these bats in action between a couple different players out here from start to finish since our previous video started with them already broken in. As we saw there, all three bats were right around 300 starting. We've now got this one down to about 260. Mid load's 250, and the Vanilla Grill is still sitting just a tick under 275. And even at what they're all sitting, I would 100% game any one of these. As I mentioned, my favorite still probably the Vanilla Gorilla, but I am a 12 inch short barrel type of fan typically. Plus that one ounce end load's a favorite for me, but I'd have zero issues swinging any of these. If you're a stiff handle fan and you want something that's as stiff as possible, I will say the Red Bat definitely felt the stiffest, followed by the VG, and then the mid load felt more like a semi-stiff handle, but I do know they're all the alloy handles. So just something to keep in mind. If you don't want as much of an end load and you're looking for like that balance feel, this mid load is gonna be perfect. For me, the 26 ounce does feel a little more balanced and a little lighter than a, a typical 26. But if you want it to feel a little bit heavier and still get kind of that mid load balance feel, just go up to a 27. Um, and then with like the Red Bat and the VG, if you want a lighter feeling 26, maybe go 25, especially with the Red Bat being a half ounces, you go 25 and a half. But for me, they mostly all feel pretty true to weight. As you kind of talked, as you saw Thumper and Alec talk about as well, the Red Bat's the only one that felt a little bit heavier, which makes sense because it is sticker at 26.5. So with that being said, hopefully this helped you kind of decide on which of these you want to pick up. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us, whether it's in the comments, any of the social medias, or head over to averagedudeslowpitch.com. You can find the link for that as well down in the link tree in the description of the video. Also in that link tree is all of our different affiliate links, codes to help you get discounts, uh, best pricing, all that kind of stuff on a bunch of different sites. To pick these up, these are still available both on dmarini and headbangersports.com. If you use the Headbangers link down below or just head over to Headbangers and put code ADS in at checkout for any of the new Dean Marini models, it doesn't have to be see these three, it can be the Lady Cartel, the Juggy, the Mercy, whatever it is, you're gonna see a nice discount there in your cart as well as free shipping on those. If you want help just picking these up, again, reach out to us. We'll help get you squared away. Fastest shipping possible. We can get you pretty cheap overnight shipping if you need them quickly. We can also answer questions, whatever it might be. But with that being said, we appreciate you checking out the video. Have a great day, and thanks for supporting the channel.